KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. Hi viewers, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss first problem in exercise 4.1 in pair of linear equations in two variables of 10th class mathematics. Right? Yes, before doing this sum, viewers, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's go through this. Yeah. See, this is the first question in exercise 4.1. By comparing the ratios a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2, find out whether the lines represented by the following pairs of linear equations intersect at a point or parallel or coincident. Come again. By comparing the ratios of a1 by a2, b1 by b2 and c1 by c2, find out whether the lines represented by the following pairs of linear equations intersect at a point or parallel or coincident right so here three situations have given let us uh, find one by one whether those are parallel lines or coincident lines or uh, intersecting lines right yeah take first one a 5x minus 4y plus 8 is equal to 0 7x plus 6y minus 9 is equal to 0. So these are the given equations, right? Linear equations in two variables, right? See, by comparing, by comparing the given equations, given equations with a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. So, by comparing the given equations with a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Here, look here, a1 is equal to how much? 5, b1 is equal to minus 4 and c1 is equal to 8 isn't it in the same way a2 is equal to 7 b2 is equal to 6 and c2 is equal to minus 9 right let us find the ratio a1 by a2 b1 by b2 and c1 by c2 yes a1 by a2 a1 by a2 is equal to a1 by a2 a1 is 5 by a2 is 7 5 by 7 this one right next b1 by b2 is equal to b1 is minus 4 and b2 is 6 so here second table can be cancelled no? so 2 2 is a 2 3 is a minus 2 by 3 here so here a1 by a2 is not equal to b1 by b2 you know see this is 5 by 7 and minus 2 by 3 so no need to do c1 by c2 if both are equal means c1 by c2 should do Otherwise, no need to do C1 by C2. Why? Because here A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2. A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2. Means, these are yes, intersecting lines and these lines have one solution or unique solution. Here, A1 by A2 is not equal to B1 by B2. So, the given the given pair of pair of linear equations linear equations in two variables two variables are intersecting intersecting lines and have unique solution so in uh, exams itself it it is two marks sum if you do like this completely you will get two out of two understood finally conclusion also you should write understood clearly yes noted down Next B, 9x plus 3y plus 12 is equal to 0, 
एटीन एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर इज ईक्वल टू जीरो दीज आर द गिवेन इक्वेशन पेर आफ लीनियर इक्वेश टू वेरियबल रईट सी नईन एक्स प्लस थ्री वाई प्लस ट्वेलव इज ईक्वल टू जीरो एटीन एक्स प्लस सिक्स वाई प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर इज ईक्वल टू जीरो यस सो बै कंपेरींग द गिवेन इक्वेश वित् ए वन एक्स प्लस बी वन वाई प्लस सी वन इज ईक्वल टू जीरो अंड ए टू एक्स प्लस बी टू वाई प्लस सी टू इज ईक्वल टू जीरो रईट हिया ए वन इज ईक्वल टू नईन बी वन इज ईक्वल टू थ्री अंड सी वन इज ईक्वल टू ट्वेलव रईट इन द सेम वे ए टू इज ईक्वल टू एटीन बी टू इज ईक्वल टू सिक्स and c2 is equal to 24 let us find the ratio yes now a1 by a2 is equal to a1 is 9 by a2 is 18 9 by 18 means 9 ones are 9 9 twos are so this will be 1 by 2 right so in the same way b1 by b2 is equal to b1 is 3 and b2 is 6 see 3 third table get cancel 3 ones are 3 twos are So that is also one by two. Here, a one by a two is equal to b one by b two, isn't it? Now let us find c one by c two also. C one by c two is equal to c one is twelve and c two is twenty four. So here twelve ones are twelve twos are. This is also one by two. Here, a one by a two is equal to b one by b two is equal to c one by c two. So these are. Yes, coincident lines and those have more solutions, infinite solutions, right? Yes, so consistent and infinite solutions. Here, a one by a two is equal to b one by b two is equal to c one by c two. So the given pair of linear equations in two variables are coincident coincident lines and have infinite infinite solutions Have you understood clearly? Yes, no, did not. Next, C. Six x minus three y plus ten is equal to zero, and two x minus y plus nine is equal to zero. Six x minus three y plus ten is equal to zero. Two x minus y plus nine is equal to zero. These are the given equations. By comparing the given equations with a one x plus b one y plus c one is equal to zero and a two x plus b two y plus c two is equal to zero, then yeah, write down a one is equal to six, b one is equal to minus three, and c one is equal to ten. Right? Next, in the same way, a two is equal to two, b two is equal to minus one, c two is equal to nine. Right? Yes. So let us find the ratio. A1 by A2, A1 by A2 is equal to A1 is 6 by A2 is 2. See, A1 by A2 is equal to yeah, 6 by 2 means yes, 3, 3 by 1 or 3, both are same, right? So A1 is 2, A2 is equal to 3 is 2, or simply a 3 by 1 or 3. Yes. Next in the same way, B1 by B2 is equal to B1 is Minus three and b two is minus one. Here minus minus get cancelled. Three three or three by one, simply. Right. Here both are equal. A one by a two is equal to b one by b two. Both are three is to one. Sir. Next, uh, c one by c two. C one is ten and c two is nine. This is different. Here a one by a two is equal to b one by b two, but not equal to c one by c two. These are is inconsistent which means parallel lines these do not have any solutions understood write down here a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 but not equal to c1 by c2 so the given pair of linear equations in two variables Are 
parallel lines and they do not have have solution any solution understood clearly yes no did not okay viewers if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe thank you thank you very much